Yes, what's going on? This is Ladders to Nowhere, and today I am bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. This is free for all on some of the map. Meltdown, I think it was called. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, like I said, you know, my last video, I have complaints about this game. Um, I honestly think a lot of it is connection based. Um, and you'll notice a lot of connection based issues in this gameplay. Um, one other thing you'll notice in this gameplay, something I can pick on myself about here a little bit. Um, I use a Black Ops wired controller that was put out by Mad Cats. I'm actually on my second one and I have like two more in the package ready to go. Um, to use I got my clearance like Amazon's deal of the day or something and I already had one and I knew I liked it but one thing I don't like about it I, I will tell you I like the fact that it is a lightweight controller it doesn't have a battery pack or anything obviously it's a lightweight controller the whole controller itself has a uh, a rubberized feel to it almost it's like a coating they put over the whole controller and then the grips themselves are actually like a rubber um, I don't want to say serrated, but serrated, you know, they're grooved uh, grip. So, you know, it's a very comfortable controller. It's one of the reasons I like it. It's lightweight. It's comfortable. It's got these stupid little uh, programmable buttons on the back that you could use, like, your middle finger to hit. I don't know. I never use them. But you can map them to other things. Like, you know, I don't know. I never use them. They're, like, my hands are too big. They're all out of the way for me. It's really annoying, and it's not worth it. <laughs> But, okay, the thing you will notice in this gameplay, and the reason I'm telling you about the controller, is I stab a lot when I don't mean to. That's the bad thing about this controller. I don't know if the, uh, the thumbstick is ultra-sensitive or what, but there's no way, obviously, to adjust the sensitivity on the click on the thumbstick. So, I stab a lot when I don't want to, and a lot of times it gets me killed, and it sucks. <laughs> And I could just switch controllers. I have, you know, like three regular Xbox controllers. And I think I have like one other kind of something. I don't know. But I, uh, if it weren't for that, I love this controller. So I stick with it and I deal with it. But you'll notice it a lot in this gameplay. And actually, that's why I'm talking about it. Because this gameplay has a, a lot. Okay, back to the game. Um, I just unlocked this gun that I'm using. And I actually really like it. It's a, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Starts with a C, but it's a three shot burst SMG. And I didn't think I would enjoy that because I don't really like three shot burst weapons for the most part, but I really enjoy this weapon. I think it's, it's very good. It's quick. You know, you can just tap the trigger and, and shoot off multiple bursts. And it's, I mean, in my opinion, it's just as good as a, uh, a automatic SMG. I, I really like it. Um, there's probably all sorts of video online. I, I honestly have not been watching videos for Black Ops 2. Um, one of the reasons why is because I'm just, you know, I'm frustrated with the game like, like a lot of people are. But I think it's it's there's a lot of changes in it. And I probably should watch videos because, you know, you get hint, hints, tips, tricks, and stuff like that on the... The guns, the, the maps, and, and, and what to do. But I, for the most part, feel like I'm starting all over again. And the very first COD I ever played was uh, Call of Duty 4. And at first, I was absolutely terrible at it. Um, and that's because, you know, it was a learning curve. It's something I had never done. I had never played, like, first-person shooters, I, I, you know, at all. So it, it was a big learning curve. And that's kind of what this is to me. Because you can't play this like a standard COD, you know. Or or I'll say, you know, the last two or three I played completely different. So it's basically like starting all over again. And I kind of hate and love that learning curve, you know. It, there's things about it like trying to figure out what works best for you and things like that that I enjoy. And then, of course, there's getting killed nonstop, which is very frustrating. And I hate that. Um, you will notice I'm running high kill streaks or score streaks 
and I don't get them, and you know, most people would probably say, "Well, why don't you run a, a lower kill streak?" And the reason why is just because I'm hoping to get lucky and get a good gameplay with them. To be perfectly honest, I uh, I don't, you know, I don't even know what they do. <laughs> I could go into combat training and check it out and see how they work and stuff, but I don't even know. So I'm kind of just playing around, and if I get lucky and get them, whatever. I have the UAV on. That's the most helpful one for me. So other than that, I don't really give a shit too much. Um see there's a stab they're all over the place man i i wish it's that controller you gotta see me play battlefield 3 it's fucking ridiculous i don't even play that because with battlefield 3 the click is a drop shot you know it's, it's prone on the right click so i constantly would get into a gunfight and just go prone and look like i'm trying to drop shot but I would overreact and click it up again. So I would like drop shot, shot, and then start to stand up and I get killed every time. It's just fucking stupid. <laughs> I, I probably should play a different controller, but I'm not going to. So, I'm you know, whatever. Um, this game, like I said, it, it's a learning curve. It's, it's trying to play again. And I'm doing what I can and I'm starting to enjoy it a little bit. I actually played like... 10 free for all matches this morning this early afternoon or whatever and I actually really enjoyed that I I think I was playing free for all like the reason I chose to play free for all is because with the normal gameplays the team death matches the domination stuff like that what seems to happen to me because I like to constantly move for the most part when I'm playing a game like this like a first person shooter i like to constantly be on the move i don't like to sit in one spot and, and guard a section or any of that so what would happen to me in regular game modes is i would just get blindsided all the time like I'd, I'd run past the let's call it the line of scrimmage and and i'd get picked off from the side and that sucked <laughs> you know so that happens non-stop to me and then i feel bad because like i'm letting my team down you know, because let's say, uh, you know, on team deathmatch, I'm letting my team down because I, I keep getting clipped from the side. So, you know, this one with free for all, there's no rhyme or reason. You know, you just go, you shoot anything that moves and you just keep moving and the spawns are going to keep moving and rotating. And, you know, so you just keep going for it. So <laughs> I chose free for all to pick. And, you know, I'm probably going to play this for a while because I'm sick of feeling like I'm letting my team down by being clipped from the side. Um, and I think the biggest reason that that happens is, you know, I mentioned in my last video that the lack of being able to hear footsteps. And, and that, for me, is a big part of playing a first-person shooter game. And you can never hear people either creeping up on you or, or running up from your side or anything like that. You just don't hear it. So that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> so, you know, free-for-all for that part. You know, it, it works better. It works out. It it really uh, makes me feel better about playing this game. I'm actually enjoying it a little more just because I don't feel like I'm letting down my team. And that's probably the most frustrating thing of all with learning a new game or, or learning an old game that has some revamps is to feel like you're letting down your team. And I didn't want to do that. So free-for-all. So free-for-all it is. So I have a, actually quite a few free-for-all um, gameplays that I recorded this morning and you know I don't know I played some uh, sticks and stones and gun game and I have I have a few of those I recorded to put up as well so you know I, I I've been lacking on getting these gameplays out just because I haven't been enjoying the game but with certain modes I'm starting to enjoy it a little more so like I said you know we'll see what happens and I will try to get them out um, Something else, you know, this is just my personal life. I just want to mention. I just bought a new car. Um, I, forever, since, you know, I turned 16, I've only had, you know, Asian cars. I've had, uh, my first car was a Toyota Tercel. My second was a Nissan Sentra. I had a Mitsubishi uh, truck when they used to make those. Um, my last car was a Nissan Xterra, um, an 04 that I had for years. And... I just bought my first German car. I actually bought a Volkswagen. And I have to say, 
there you are. It's a great car so far. So, Volkswagen Tiguan or Tiguan. I don't really know how you say it. it's T I G U A N, but it is a uh, a great little car, and I'm very happy I actually switched to the uh, the German. So, we'll see what happens and see how it holds up in comparison. And I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay, and I will try to bring you some more. And guys, you know, have fun.